Let me see. Is anyone familiar with Hugh Morton by chance? Grandfather Mountain. So Mr. Hugh Morton, let me see if I have a picture of him with one of his bears. He was an advocate for conservation. Um, and with the black bear population declining, can anyone guess what Mr. Morton did? Started breeding black bears, absolutely. So Mr. Morton, um, there oh, he is. <laughs> um, Mr. Morton, being the conservationist as he was, he went to the Atlantic Zoo and he got two black bears in 1968. Mildred being one of the black bears and he also got a male black bear to bring back to Grandfather Mountain. Now, if you're not aware, Hugh Morton was the individual with the insight to build the bridge and establish Grandfather Mountain. Uh, so, Mr. Morton brought Mildred back uh, with the other bear to breed them on Grandfather Mountain. Now, after breeding these black bears, they were supposed to be released into the wild, right? Uh, so, like Mr. Morton, he liked everything to be very elaborate, um, made sure people could see what was going on. So he invited um, Arthur Smith. Anyone familiar with the Arthur Smith show? All right. Um, to announce his release. So Arthur Smith was announcing their release and the male when they were released back into the wild, the male black bear took off. <laughs> right? Like, that was supposed to happen. Um, yes, successful bear back into the environment. Does anyone have any idea what Mildred did? She hung out. She hung out, right? She not only hung out, but this is according to some information. I do not have firsthand um, accounts of this, but um, Arthur's brother, Ralph, was also at the release. So I want you all to imagine I'm, I'm Ralph. I don't even know what Ralph looks like, um, but I'm sure I'm pretty similar. So when Arthur was um, talking about the release, Mildred came up and started licking Ralph's shoe, like non-stop wow. licking. Um, so if you're at grandfather, just picture it like this. We have one bear up there named Flower, always has her tongue out. I don't know, maybe some of you have noticed that while you're up there, she's just like this. Um, but licking Ralph's shoe, and Ralph went to shoo Mildred away, not shoo, but shoo Mildred away, and, um, he just yelled out the name Mildred, and hence that's why she got the name Mildred um, through an account at Grandfather. Whether it's 100% accurate, I don't know, but I do like this story and appreciate this story. Now, Mildred, this is another account that I'm not 100% sure. It was stories passed down, but Mildred wasn't released did not go like the male bear for one reason they think while she was at the Atlantic Zoo they thought that the um, office staff at the zoo during their lunch break would come down and give Mildred some snacks <laughs> um, so you know I feel her if someone came down on their break and constantly gave me some snacks I would hang out as well so she got more habituated to the area. Um, so, great, we have Mildred, successful breeding pair. We have Mildred. Um, and we have Mildred everywhere, okay? Um, so Mildred, if you can imagine being at grandfather today, and before you cross the bridge, if this was um, the security person on the bridge um, coming by, um, she was all over grandfather. Um, 
I encourage you all after I'm done speaking to come up. I'll obviously put my mask back on, but to look at some of these pictures up close. Um, but Mildred was everywhere on the mountain. She even was the first one to greet you when you were on the mountain. Um, I can't imagine, but... So Mr. Morton decided Mildred's hanging out. Um, so in 1973, Mr. Morton built a habitat for Mildred, um, a two-acre habitat on Grandfather Mountain. Um, this is an image right here of the habitat. The habitat is still at Grandfather Mountain. And while you overlook the habitat while you are all there next time, the next time you all come visit, if it's on a really clear day from that habitat, you can see Charlotte from that habitat, um, which is incredible. The view is incredible, and it's a huge space for these bears. Um, breeding on Grandfather Mountain um, stopped in about 2000, around the 2000s because the population bounced back. There was no need to breed any more black bears on the mountain. <coughs> But currently, when you come join us again, we do have six black bears on the mountain. Kodiak, Flower, Smokey, Yanni, Carolina, and Fannie Mae. Um, so I encourage you all to come, come check those out um, in their habitats as well. Hi, my name is Jesse Pope. I'm the president and executive director of the Grandfather Mountain Stewardship Foundation. Thank you for watching this video. Click the subscribe button below. And to learn more about Grandfather Mountain, visit grandfather.com and you can support our mission there to inspire conservation. Thank you.